What's up, everyone? You know the deal. You know the deal. Buongiorno. Come tal vu? Bonjour. Hola. Hi. <laughs> so, to give you an idea of what this video long is about, how you doing? Okay. So, it was January of 2016, and my, um, and I went to the WBLS studios of 107.5 FM, New York City, New York, and Hudson Street, I believe, in Greenwich Village, where I was met in the lobby by the one and the only Jeff Fox. Um, one of the most historic and legendary figures in radio pop history, period. Um, at the time that we met in the lobby, my understanding is that he was the digital communications director for the super legendary historic WBLS Studios and WBLS Studios 107.5 FM, New York City, New York. Now, I went up with I went up there to, uh, and by the way, um, that that it was the 9th of January, twenty sixteen, and at some point not too long beforehand, Irvin Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers, um, I believe, was the owner of WBLS Studios, and then I believe he sold it for eighty eight million dollars. So. So I'm with Jeff Fox, I'm in the elevator, we go up. I can't believe, you know, I mean, this is the studio that where Funkmaster Flex interviewed Biggie one week before his new album debut was ready to drop for the masses called Ready to Die. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and... It's on YouTube, excuse me. Mm. But also, when Funkmaster Flex interviewed Biggie inside of WBLS Studios a week before the release of the Ready to Die album debut, so keep in mind the album that Rolling Stone magazine ranked that Rolling Stone magazine ranked the number one greatest rap hip hop album in rap history was about to drop and hadn't dropped yet, and he had Biggie do a cipher of an improvisational freestyle rap in the studio. So that's just an inkling of the history of WBLS Studios. They were also the first live FM radio station to host the first live FM radio station rap show ever called The Rap Attack with D DJ Molly Mall of the Juice Crew out of Queens, New York City, New York and Mr. Magic. I believe that was the rap attack with DJ Molly Mall and Mr. Magic. As mentioned by Biggie in his classic song, Juicy. Um, the rap attack with Mr. Magic and Molly Mall. I let my tape pop. Sipping on bamboo and private stock way back when I wore the red hat and the black lumberjacks. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, Jeff Fox does a in-person photo shoot of me inside of WBLS Studios. He then does an in-person live interview with me, in-person interview with me on the Jeff Fox online podcast show. Now, what does this have to do with Wendy Williams? I learned later that Jeff Fox was the co-host of Wendy Williams' top-ranked New York City, New York radio show in the night is called Dish the Dirt with Wendy Williams and co-host Chef Fox on WKYS, I believe 93.3 or 93.7 FM, New York City, New York. So I think it was the success of her New York City radio station show that eventually led 
or was one of the gateways to her eventually getting her own television show that ran for 13 seasons. So Jeff Fox was Wendy Williams' co-host on Dishing the Dirt in the 90 seasons. So Jeff Fox was Wendy Williams' co-host on Dishing the Dirt in the 90s. And he is the one that did the photo shoot of me inside of WBLS Studios. He is also the one who interviewed me on the Jeff Fox online podcast show. Um, which you can find on my YouTube channel, titled Jorge Estrada DC. And um, there you go. Um, now, at one point, WBLS Studios for 107.5, 107.5 FM, New York City, New York, had our interview on their official Facebook page. And in that first four weeks, it picked up nearly 4,000 views. I just went back and checked for it years and years later, and I don't see it on my timeline anywhere. But that doesn't mean it's not there, because... I have so much legend and legacy and epic and history on my Facebook.com greatest of meta history timeline account page that I have to go through a lot just to go from November 2023 back to January of 2016. Oh my God. Okay. Now, Jeff Fox, I learned, is now a member of the legendary historic R&B soul supergroup, The Shy Lights. Mm, as in that classic song, mm, do I know it well enough at all? Oh, tell me, have you seen her? Do, 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 I'm plugged up right now. I'm plugged up. I haven't even gotten back on my irrigation course track till today tonight, in which I have to irrigate my nasal and throat passageways for at least five days in a row to be ready for the showcases. I wouldn't do the showcases plugged up like this. But anyway, yeah, so now I've learned that Jeff Fox is, a, is I think, uh, he's one of the guitar players from Charlotte's backing band. And that he's been touring with them. 